thank you for inviting me. Good afternoon, sir. So I request C. M. S. Sinhaniya to please introduce our next speaker, C. A. K. Bachchan. Akhil Bajori is an accomplished professional with a unique combination of skills in chart recompense, ethical hacking, and information system audit. He has demonstrated expertise in IT systems and privacy related implementations in the banking, financial services, and insurance sector, where he has been working since 2014. As a partner at Gopal Sarma and Company, chart recompense, Akhil has provided his services in a system audit. Vulnerability assessment and penetration testing and privacy. His work includes assignment for various prominent organizations such as SEBI, RBI, NHDL, CDSL, NSC, BSC, MCS, NDS, and IITA for system audit. Akhil is a low graduate from Vaisna University and a technology enthusiast, and he has also received certifications in. CISA USA and certified for examiner USC. With his vast knowledge and experience, he has delivered multiple sessions on cyber security, office security, system audit, forensic accounting and fraud detection, office optimizations and security at various professional forums, including ICI, ICMA, CPE circles, and many more. Akhil Pachori is also a visiting faculty for forensic accounting and fraud detections for advanced ITD, and he regularly Contributes to many new articles. His expertise in the field of system audit and privacy, along with his exceptional skill in cyber security. I welcome you, sir. Thank you. Uh, this being a virtual session, uh, you, we would like to give you a virtual bouquet on behalf of GTP. Welcome, sir. Please accept us on, on our behalf. Thank you for sir. inviting me. Thank you. So now you can start your session and give the sharing rates. Yeah. So first of all, I would like to thank the convener of the CP Circle, DS Agarwal, sir. Deputy convener, Manjulata Shukla, ma'am. And DS Saraugi ji. Sorry, Saraugi ji. And uh, all the DTPA CP committee team for uh, inviting me and organizing this three day physical come virtual seminar. And uh, the topic for the today is chat GPT and the use cases for the chartered accountants. See, we all know it's been uh, around December, then Feb, March, and April. It's been five months since chat GPT launched. We all have used it for. Uh, somewhat like uh, for uh, for for uh, like drafting a reply, writing a mail or something like that. For all for that we all have been using it. But uh, how to proceed further rather than limiting ourselves to the uh, drafting part and the emailing part, and how to make sure that it is best possible use for chartered accountants. So now, firstly, we'll have a, a moment of PPT, after which we'll be discussing the, uh, I would say, the practical part, which is majorly covered, uh, which will be majorly covered in the session for today. So, see, first of all, uh, before understanding chat GPT, we need to understand what GPT itself stands for and what is the background of the company that developed it? See, GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It is something which generates on the basis of trained data that is being provided. Like uh, for the case of chat GPT, the tra last training data available is September 2021. So, for the data that is being provided to you, that is limited up to the period September 21. After that, there is no upgradation even in the chat GPT-4 version or what we are calling it as GPT plus uh, because it is available to the paid users. Now, the development of this was done by OpenAI company, which is uh, a 
mean the history of the company goes from 2018 elon musk was also associated associated with this company as well in 18 he left thereafter they continued now the microsoft has in, uh, invested in this company or for around i think 30 or 50 billion dollars they 10 billion dollars they have invested and they are telling even if you need more you don't you worry we will provide you the additional funds as well because the costing for maintaining this whole server behind the gpt data is coming around 24 crores per day roughly so that is not something uh, i mean we cannot take it for granted you can understand what is the amount of data that is that has been loaded in this gpt see uh, if you don't have an account you can obviously go to this chat.openai.com and you can start start using this upfront this is a statistics that we usually see that for crossing the 1 million users or what we say is the 10 lakh users in indian sense it took only 5 days and only 2 months to cross the 100 million mark that is 1 cr mark 10 cr mark of uh, 10 cr mark was crossed within 2 months itself now it is going to cross the 1 billion mark soon let's see within 1 year or what Okay, Chat GPT. As we know, it was launched in November thirty. It's been December, Jan, Feb, March, and April. Five months since the launch, and uh, I think uh, it's the same company which which launched Dali. If you have heard of, of the uh, of the AI tool Dali, it is uh, it not uh, it does what it does is it generates the images on the basis of description you give, like. i would give the description a chartered accountant sitting on the office table with background in the window of the corporate buildings working on his laptop uh, with files doing his audit finalization work the daily will provide you a image of i mean four images for the free version what what description on the basis of description what images can be generated similarly uh, there is mid journey as well Uh, you can use that also for to generate the AI art, but uh, let's move ahead. Uh, that uh, won't be covered today. Now, ChatGPT actually predicts or provides you the output, generates the output on the basis of input you give. So, if you are giving the input properly, you will also get the output properly, which is famously nowadays known as prompt engineering. prompt engineering prompt means something what you enter to generate the output from the uh, from the gpt so this is a prompt engineering that is developed and there are openings dedicated for prompt engineering i'll show you one of these uh, yeah just see this is the prompt engineer and librarian posting and if you look at the paycheck it's from 1 lakh 75000 dollar to 3 lakh 35000 dollars so those who are good at maths can calculate how much amount it does uh, at the end i will also show you one more posting what it was and how it is now the major confusion is that how is it different from google and chat gpt are different from each other simple thing google provides you the references of the links Up, uh, with the detailed and it provides you n number of links chat gpt on the other hand summarizes or takes the uh, takes the help of the scrolls or the links and then on the basis of all the data that that was available on uh, on those links gives you the output on uh, i mean the output that should be given to you that you would have generated after surfing for 10 10 20 references on google see let's say i want to search for a notification number let's say 76/2018 and uh, what i'll do i'll click on google then it will show me the tax group tax management india then thereafter cbic then gst council and then number of website so i will just type provide me what was the crux of the notification of 76 by 2018 it will provide me after surfing 
that yes, you are wanting this. So this is the something that you want. Like chat GPT, Google is also planning to launch its own AI chatbot, which was called as Bard AI or which is being called as Bard AI. It is not being launched for public because uh, during the first launch event that Google conducted, it went down or it, uh, it provided some infactual data. It was factually incorrect. So that was the reason they took it down. Now, this is the important thing that I keep on saying, sir, GPT, if you consider it as a threat to the profession, it's up to you. If you consider it as a value addition to yourself, your profession, it is up to you. So if you see a glass full of water or a uh, or half glass empty, that's up to you to decide. One more thing that is going on that AI will replace humans. I am of the stronger opinion that AI will not replace humans. A person using AI will replace you if you are not using it. So that is the crux of the whole AI revolution going on. Uh, again, how will it uh, apply to humans, AI versus humans? As of now, I strongly say that a person who will be using AI beneficially will be replacing you. So this is how you should be generating prompts. Firstly, you, you establish a context of the problem. Like let's say, uh, I, I, I tell chat GPT act as a chat. Okay, now this is the context. Now I provide you the topic. Topic, let's say I provide them act as a chatbot for me. For accounting, I'm, a, I'm an accounting student of 11th standard, act as a chatbot. Now that was the topic. They have to act, it has to act as a chatbot for accounting. Now specify the task. I have already specified the task also. You have to access the chatbot and what I'll ask, you will have to answer me. Now, then the prompt will provide you a particular output. After that, what you can do is, if you like, I, I want to change the uh, matter or I want to ch uh, change something else. I want to ask something else. Then these are known as follow-up questions. So these are the four things that you have to think of. These are something that you can use for, uh, I will share the presentation. You can use it. Actually, I what I do is this is a two hour presentation what I, have, I am showing you. So I'll, I'll sum it up for uh, you because I have to close it by 5.15. I'll share the presentation. You can obviously do it. Now, now let's discuss the use cases how do we use the chat gpt now sir the basic uh, thing that we all have been using is to generate the mails to generate a letter to generate let's say a power of attorney like i have used so generate a power of attorney to my father for the reason that I will be residing abroad for three years for studies. Now I provided that you have to generate a power out of attorney and Power of attorney for the reason that I will be staying out of India for three years. So you, I am providing a general power of attorney to my father to you know uh, deal all the bank related matters, sale of property related matters, etc. For three years, for this, I hereby ratify and confirm all the perform all the acts performed by my attorney. In fact, in connection with my affairs in the absence of from India. So if you want more detail. So this is what I am typing is a follow-up question. Prepare a more detailed power of attorney for more than thousand words. Now I think uh, this is this why I, I thought this is not working out. I, my client would think this is a simple thing. Uh, 
so what 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 i will do is i will lend lend the y it or what i will do is i will make it to create it for 1000 words so that it 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 thinks i mean it looks sober and looks good yeah it is specifying clause wise the what are the powers are being given to me so like let's see so if you want to add more uh, then you can give for like let's say 5000 words then you can click on create a power of attorney with 5000 words keyword should be uh, like let's say out of india and the reason also you can specify if you want like let's say <clears throat> in air what you are saying is your full name your signature now let's say you copy it in the word okay you copy it in the word what you do is you will replace your full name with your name and then afterwards you will print it out correct now what i'll do i'll say chat gpt to replace this my name is akhil pachuri and my father name is tarun pachuri craft d power of attorney accordingly see i akhil bachuri son of arun bachuri see it has already started filling me resident of you know address also if you provide the address also it will fill this also my father here everywhere it is it has replaced my name and everywhere so you can replace all these things from here itself also if you want to do it in but it's I mean it's your choice to do that okay now <clears throat> let's draft a mail like uh, the audit season is starting so what we all do is we all need a checklist for sending it to the clients and we need to prepare a mail so that the client provide us the data so draft a mail for Sending to my clients for act along with checklist of documents required. Dear client name, I hope you are uh, this, this, this. We kindly. Now, insert the timeline, for example, provide me with this. If you want to provide this also, you can also provide this. Attach is the checklist for documents required for audit. Now, I'm, I'm, I'll ask uh, chat GPT only to prepare the checklist for documents. Now, sir, you will, you will apply pressure on your brain. You will think all the, remember all the documents. Now, it has provi provided you the concise one. Books of accounts, all things covered, bank statements, invoices, TDS, GST, Chalan for tax payment, capital gain and loss statement, ITR for previous year, foreign income, depreciation, any other document. So this is, I think, uh, one of the checklists that you can send. If there is something specific applicable to your client, like transfer pricing related and everything, you can obviously go go and uh, add this checklist and uh, then send the mail. So this is what we can use for in the draft terms. Obviously, there are a number of examples, but we'll limit ourselves to do two such examples. Now, moving ahead. So there is a uh, what we what we call uh, first meeting of the board, if you all know. There is a first meeting of the board of directors that has to be conducted. And I don't know what is the agenda that has to be on the board, first board meeting. And I don't know the uh, Companies Act provision because I, I, I have had a, I have outsourced my ROC data, ROC work to some CS or CA. So what I want is I want a precise board meeting, how it should be and the minutes of the board meeting also I want. So for the minutes, we will require a transcript, transcribe of the data of the meeting. Now, we I am connected to you via Zoom. Zoom provides you the facility of 
transcribe generation or what I am telling at the end of the meeting. Obviously, you can uh, you can uh, 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 what we say export this transcribe to text file. In the notepad file, you can copy paste and then after you provide the chat GPT that kindly generate the minutes of the meeting for the above transcript. Now that is not available. So what I'll do is I have a transcribe available with me. That is I mean, some I have found it over the internet for uh, someone. So what I'll do is Okay, now for the free users, you will be having this GPT 3.5 only. And here nine uh, boxes would be there. Like uh, it can go in correct uh, three examples of the prompts, how you can use and somewhat like this. This is the paid version. So I have the access of chat GPT 4 also. But the limitation here is that I can use uh, 24, 25 messages for three hours, etc. I think I haven't breached it yet. So I, I think that this is uh, enough for me right now. Now we'll use chat GPT-4 today. Uh, and what it'll do is because the transcribe is long, that's why I'm using GPT-4. Otherwise I would have used 3.5 bits. What I'll do is draft on the basis of Meeting transcribe above draft the minutes of meeting. This is the normal minutes of meeting I am requesting currently requesting currently. We will demand for the companies at minutes of meeting later. So I have posted it and the minutes of the meeting. Uh, I think if there is someone who does this ROC work, they can tell where, how much time it takes to draft a minutes of the meeting. I hope two, three hours minimum it would take to draft a minutes of the meeting. If I'm not wrong. So that two, three hours have been reduced. What you all have to do is you have to just check it out. Okay. Call to order. Okay. Wrong. Correct. 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 Otherwise, what would have been happened? No, uh, your article, your uh, assistant, your uh, trainee, whatever. They might have prepared a draft, then you might have found some uh, grammatical or spelling errors, then you might have corrected those, then you have tallied it. So it takes two, three hours, roughly what I have and what I have experienced. Now, with this, what you have to do is you have to just click on the transcribe. What happened? See, virtual meetings are happening virtually. Many, many listed companies, even Reliance have started doing AGM virtually. So we all have the meeting transcribe recorded in the closed captions, what we get. So with that, I have generated, I think that is some good enough uh, minutes of meeting. If you can see, see date and time, you can obviously give call to order, roll call, approval of agenda. Then the new business, if there is any, then it was done motion to sell property near the airport. So in this transcribe, this all was the, uh, agenda so that is why it is showing this meeting now moving ahead what i'll now what i'll do is draft me a draft me minutes of meeting for the first board meeting of the Company XYZ Private Limited as per the Companies Act 2013. See the modification in the Companies Act and the rules after September 21 might not be incorporated, but yes, somewhat general minutes of the meeting it would provide. And you see up to what extent. See, draft minute, time, date, venue, okay. Director also in attendance, okay. Company secretary, okay. Quorum was met, okay. Item discussed. Appointment of the chairperson. So the chairperson has to be appointed. Noting of certificate of incorporation. Certificate of incorporation has to be 
noted down adoption of mo and ao has to be done first auditors are appointed on the first board meeting correct this is also done okay bank account has to be opened that will also be done because of, while opening a bank account they require a board board resolution so vr is this authorization of vr was generated separately this is the board meeting minutes authorization of statutory registration now the company has been incorporated they will apply for gst pent and right now they are being given up front kmp will be appointed any other business now what i do is see in place name chairperson din number they all do you know ki the ki din number is also has to be attached now prepare the same using the and mention the respective section and the rules of the companies at government company so what the, just a minor change what i have done is i just requested it kindly write the required section number also so that in case there is a confusion between me and uh, chat gpt i can quickly go to the section and i can find what the provision and then check the, that yes it is the correct one okay company secretary appointment i think that is section 203 if uh, if, if chat gpt is wrong then uh, i mean obviously after september 21 it may be wrong but i think section does not changes frequently now quorum is required and under as per section 174 104 everything i mean they are providing you with the section if you want to check me you can go to the respective section of the company that and check it out whether i am wrong or correct so this much detail is happening now just imagine how much time has been saved for a person who is dealing with this uh, drafting of the documents because i know there are very small companies who who who, who outsource these works to uh, cs or chartered accountants so this is uh, a very easy thing and for me a person who does uh, who does not does this roc work i think this is pretty much very much handy it has this exited so i'll just type continue so it has become quite a bit handy i can use it any time anywhere even on the whatsapp i can use uh, chat gpt nowadays so i don't uh, require a laptop or a web browser also to access chat gpt all i all i can do is on the whatsapp also i can access it so <clears throat> moving ahead uh, now as we all know that currently chat gpt does not has the access to the web portal or what we say is not access connected to the internet the reason is that the, when the plugins will come it will be connected to internet and then then in there what will happen is it will actually provide you the real time data like right now if i ask who is the president of india it will give you ramnath kovind so cut off date was september 21 that's why the ramnath kovind would be appearing but the same chat gpt that if if it gets the access to the web it will provide me what draupadi murmu so this is the difference why chat gpt is lacking behind a bit now as of now but since it is a microsoft owned now we have bing chat as well at the left right corner of uh, microsoft edge where you can use uh, chat gpt for for free so and apart from this chat gpt for itself it is actually connected to the internet via bing so if you want all you want to use chat gpt for free of cost and connected to the internet with the latest updates everything 
you can go to the right corner. If you don't see, you can see at the bottom uh, in, in the search right, right corner, you can see chat. So yeah, Bing AI chat, directly it opens me the chat function. So what I have to do is I have to choose the option. I want the content to be more creative, balanced, or to be more precise. So now I ask who is the president of India? It will give me straight away Draupadi Murmu. Now with this power, what we will do is we will analyze the different notification circulars, everything. See, the current president is Draupadi Murmu. She took office with the references as well. If you click on here, it will provide you with the references, bing.com, president of India, website, Wikipedia and elections. So these four were the references from where it took the answer. Now, moving ahead. All you have uh, conducted this uh, bank audit right now in the month of April, the figures would figures of the what we say is the balance sheet would be out in the month of May for many banks, almost all banks. So what I'll do is I will before uh, before going to the bank audit, I will load the what we say the ICI guidance note on the banks and that was issued in 2023. Now, since it was issued in 2023, the cutoff date was September 21. It does not have the access. But I want chat GPT to become as a chatbot so that whenever I ask, and question, ask a question, what it does is it provides me the output based on the PDF file. Now, first of all, what I'll do is I will search for Guidance note on bank audit 2023. Yeah, I think this is the PDF file that we all are talking about. I just copied this down. I came, came here. Now this is not connected to internet as we all know. Cut out dated September 21 as we all know. Now I want this to access the internet and act as a chatbot for me. So what I type is act as a chatbot for the material at See, I didn't mention what is the uh, material all about. I didn't mention that it is from ICI. Hello, I am a chatbot and I am here to navigate through the material. Guidance note. Uh -huh. I think this is, yeah. Gap, it is taking something else. So what I'll do is I'll take you here where I have already loaded this. What I can do is I'll just use that GPT for my things. Okay, so GPT four is working fine. Three point five was causing some error. So now this is guidance note on the audit of banks twenty three edition. The material that is available, okay, it is correctly showing that, yeah, this is the material. So what I'll do is I'll ask the question. Now, what I'll ask is how, what is the criteria to classify a cash credit count as NPA? Now I went to bank audit and there are five, six CC accounts only in the branch. Now I want to classify, but I don't know how, what is the criteria. 
interest or installment of principal remain overdue for a period of more than 90 days in respect of term loan out of order cc should be out of order for out of order means the outstanding balance remains continuously in excess of the sanction limit for a period of 90 days or more no credits for 90 days the bill remains overdue for a period of more than 90 days in bills so all the criteria that are related to npa classification are being provided to me on the basis of the guidance so I, I have noted the guidance note on the uh, available for the banks on the chat GPT-4. I can use any time. Uh, I want an audience if anyone would like to ask something to the guide from the guidance note. Please. Yes, sir. That's the question. Tell me what do you want to ask? Anybody wants to ask anything from the guidance note? Hmm. Sir, criteria for agricultural loan classification. NPA classification. Ma'am, actually, I am a bit, bit weak in the agricultural loans, so kindly check yourself if Chat GPT is uh, giving the correct answer or not. Okay, uh, crop season, recent guidelines issued by RBI in structured criteria. I think for for small duration two crop season and for long duration one crop season. I think this is correct if you want more detail. See, now it is providing you the example of short duration crops of and the long duration also. As I ask for more detail, the more and more details it will provide me. So it's up to you how much you want from it and what do you want from it. The prompt has to be provided by you. So this is how you could have loaded this. Apart from that, if you want something else to be loaded, like if you want the guidance note on the uh, internal audit uh, or what we can say guidance note on the tax audit, like tax audit season is going to start. So as soon as the guidance note for this, this, this particular year comes out, you can use that and load it in, in chat GPT. The prompt that you can write it down is... Uh, Act as a chatbot. So this is the uh, something what I have to provide the context for the material available at. Now you have to provide the links. Now the limitation sometimes you may face is that and not every time it works out on the basis of the links provided. So I mean it might somewhat differ on the basis of the link, but yeah, uh, in the cases of this note guidance note or audit of banks, it 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 worked out worked out. So I think you can copy it for uh, other guidance note as well. So moving for the, uh, just a second, I'll see. Sir, there is one question. Yeah. Sir, my teacher, my teacher. Can you do that? Just searching. Uh, my is available on my computer. Sir, your voice is breaking. I'm not able to hear something. Yeah. So in, instead, in the, the question is instead of uh, internet, can the chat GPT search from the uh, files from the computer itself? Sir, if you provide the access to the files uh, and apart from that, currently the fa facility is not available yet. But what I think is there would be a plugin that will be provided. That is why uh, the uh, plugins or the access to the API are being provided to the developers first. 
reason being they are the one who develop the APIs. So like, let's say you have, if I develop an API with the uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, what I'll do is I will just put the login ID of my SSP portal and I'll just type my firm, my firm card. Now what I'll give you is the firm card in the PDF itself. So, but yes, again, there has to be an integration between the Institute and the chat GPT servers. That is also what I say is the personal information would be accessible to uh, chat GPT. I would, I would also like to show you how you can export the personal info or whatever you have asked. In the settings when you go, there is the new option known as data controls. As soon as you go, there is an option. You, If you want chat history to be maintained, it's your choice. If you don't, then you can switch it off. So I just switched it on and there is an option export data. So I just exported the data and checked it out. Uh, it's a JSON file that comes out. Uh, it actually is giving you all the prompts that you have provided with the timestamp and what was generated on the basis of prompt that you provided. Apart from that, if you want, uh, if you want uh, this web control also. So for that, I have this. Uh, This, uh, there is a Chrome extension where you, what you can do is you can access the internet as well. So actually, yes, I'll have to log in here also because it does not work on two systems. So I'll just log in here now. See, yeah. See, I, I have added an AP, uh, what we say is the Chrome extension where it has, I mean, actually it's nothing but a prompt that says that you have to access to the web. Now, what I'll ask is CSK versus Rajasthan Royals. See, actually what it is, this extension is doing is, it is generating the prompt on and searching. So what it is doing is, now let's see, based on the provided web results, it seems that there have been at least two matches between CSK in the 23 IPL edition. First match, match number 17 was played on April 20, 12, 2023. The match highlights official website. It has provided you the link iplt20.com. Okay. The second website match 32 was played on April 23. Uh, now the date is uh, incorrect because the match is today. So uh, that is something uh, incorrect here. Upstock most valuable with Sabas and this, 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 everything. So these all things. Actually, what I have done is. It has provided the web access and access on the basis of three web links. Now, if I if I turn these three results to ten results, and now I type C. I provided 10 web results, and on the basis of it, it has provided more on the April 27. A match between CSK and RL is set to take place in Savai Mansingh Stadium in Japan. So you can now access web also using chat GPT. The thing is, this is the prompt. If if if, if the admin allows me, I will what I'll do is I will post this prompt, whole prompt in the chat box so that it can be used by the participants later on. Messages too long. No worries. 
I'll just tell you that this is the extension that I am using. See, web chat GPT, this is the extension that I'm using. So you can add it to this. And what I, what you have to do is this. Now, just ask me a random question out of the box, or which is actually related to the news available online. Any question from the participants? Any questions? Sir, uh, please just repeat because the just, voices. Yeah. Just a second, sir. Just a second. You can just sit here. Uh, so suppose if there's a question on law, which I need to analyze as per the latest uh, situation. So the question is that ITC, sorry, GST is not payable in case of reverse charge where it has been already paid under forward charge based on uh, rulings, law and everything. So all analysis. So firstly, I would ask uh, this chat uh, GPT to provide me with the case laws available for case laws in SSC paper. Obviously, we all be looking out for those case laws. Only. Entire analysis. So where department can take a stand and how to counter them. So I need the entire analysis on a question of law. See, that will be only access on the basis. See, opinion is something where that may differ. But on the basis of what is available on the uh, tax guru, tax management, India X, Y, and Z websites, it will provide you the results. So what I'll do is I'll pro type uh, type uh, type the analysis that has to be done. Provide me with the analysis. Okay, now I'll type you. Act as a tax consultant and of GST in India. The question is that whether I have to pay RCM on goods. No, no, no. Whether I have to pay GST under RCM where it has been discharged under forward charge mechanism. Okay. The liability that has been this in the now going to the the current while I guess we See, as a tax consultant of GST India, you may be required to pay GST under RCM, even if the liability has been discharged under forward charge. Under RCM, the recipient, the mechanism is applicable to certain category of services which have been notified. Provide me the detailed analysis with more than The liability that may arise in his if the is in the
However, there are specific supplies for the level. I mean, this is what it is providing is on the basis of 9394. It is providing that if, if you are providing on uh, particular services, you have to discharge the liability. If the liability has already been discharged under forward charge mechanism, then there is no requirement to pay, pay tax under reverse charge mechanism. In other words, if a registered dealer has already paid tax on auto, there is no need to pay tax under RCM. However, if the registered person has purchased goods from an registered dealer, obviously that is something uh, which is being scrapped, then the registered dealer required to pay tax. Okay. In conclusion, if a registered dealer has already paid tax, under forward charge, there is no need to RCM. However, if the registered dealer purchase goods from an registered dealer, then registered will be required to pay tax and the liability under RCM is triggered only when the conditions specified under the GST laws are specified. There is no tribal taxation in the process. So this is what it has generated. I hope you, I mean, this is, this is a short analysis that has been provided. Detailed analysis, obviously, that is something we have to do. Otherwise, uh, there would be no requirement of uh, chartered accountant or a tax professional. So that is why I say a person would using AI will be replaced. AI will be replacing you instead of AI. So a lot of lot of uh, research and the improvement has to be done. Obviously, where there is analytical skills, where there are management skills involved, where there is uh, critical thinking analysis, uh, critical thinking is involved. At that point of time, actually human intelligence is behind, uh, is for uh, way ahead than the artificial intelligence. So what I think is it will take a few bit of time, but yes, I suggest everyone start using this chat GPT or the other artificial intelligence tool. Like, uh, okay, now this is, May, this might may not work. Uh, so you showed me another one. Like this is updated till September 2021. Now no, this this is this is updated. Like let's say uh, provide me with crux of the notification. Uh, let's say one slash 2023. Now, this is not from 21. This is from uh, 2023. Uh, For example, on this topic that I mentioned, there is a lot of data which is available on Google. Now, if I want chat GPT to read those articles and then give an analysis or a, a, a basically a gist about whatever is written in various articles, how can see, I do that? See, this is actually what I have done is I have limited it to 10 results. Okay. So currently what's happening is chat, uh, chat GPT is only itself searching. Chat GPT is only analyzing both the things. Apart from that, I'm, as I mentioned, 10 results were involved in this analysis, analysis of this whole point. What, what were the links that were analyzed by chat GPT? See, clear tax, reverse charge GST, tax guru link was there, tally solution, Lonos, uh, Saral Pro, Deskera.com, and many more clear tax, tax guru. So, if you want to add more, what you can do is analyze the uh, what you say, uh, circular. If you, as you all have seen, when on the last day, uh, 31st March, n number of circulars and n number of notification were issued. So instead of reading all those, what I'll what I will do is I will just ask that GP2 to, to analyze the circular and I'll provide the link as well. So let's search for a circular number 01 slash 2023. Okay, this is the PDF uh, circular. I don't know whether it would be available to do the OCR, but uh, let's say another tool that you can uh, use is for analyzing the PDF is chatpdf.com. So With this, just one thing like coming back to that question, if I give the links that yes, sub articles like you know, analyze all these articles, can I specify that that same question be analyzed basis on? 
so and so like multiple articles can i do that sure sure you can do that obviously and i mean if you if, if you have the links you can provide me in the chat board otherwise uh, you can try it out at home uh, or in the office where you provide the analyze the let's say notification available at below links so one two three four five six and then thereafter you provide all the links and let's see what happens because this is in the training phase so it may be wrong sometimes it may read something else as i told you 3.5 uh, when we discuss c ask chat gpt to analyze what it does is it it understood it as a gap gap material but what it was actually was it was guidance note on the auditor bank so there is i mean uh, there is a difference between gpt 3.5 and 4 there are refinement going on every day and day and day and night so i mean uh, you can try it out if it comes out right very very good if not wait for the i mean either you may try to change your prompts or you may wait for the uh, refinement otherwise you have you are uh, you can do what you are doing right now analyze only <laughs> on the basis of yourself <laughs> that is the best option so uh, you can do that if you if you want i will prepare a prompt also i will uh, try to share if i get success then I obviously i will share another uh, tool that you can use is chatpdf.com uh, but the limitation here is you can for the free version the limitation here is you can upload only 150 pages file not more than that so up to 150 you can do that in here itself uh, it will provide you the up to date data ocr also i think it 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 uh, see i have actually updated two pdfs one is the faqs on the real estate sector so what i want to ask is what is the rate of tax on real estate projects so it will provide me that if it is affordable housing it's 1% without itc if it's another thing then 5% without it so it will provide me on the basis of material that i have provided see it is mentioning me the page 4 of the pdf also the transition phase also it is telling me another tool that you can use is the text place i will uh, take you to there also which is dashboard.blaze.today what it does is actually uh, on the basis of shortcut it provides you the whole data see i have created this msme reminder for what i say is the audit data so as soon as i will write audit data in the mail like let's say i'll i'll draft a mail See, I'll I'll have to send. Let's say to me. Uh, what I'll do is I'll forward slash or audit D A T A. It has what I saved here, dear sir, madam. I hope this mail finds this or or everything in that. What it has all done is it has pasted it on the simple lines like. forward slash audit data similarly you can use for advanced tax reminder as well like for advanced tax i have forward slash advanced tax see simple so this is something which cut short your time uh, we'll move to the ppt fastly we'll go through it okay you can prepare reports presentation data legal research as the madam wanted uh, legal research can be done from here uh, okay other use cases you can use this for 
rephrasing, you can use it for grammar check, uh, integration with the accounting softwares. Like I, I hope uh, the last session was related related to the accounting software, one accounting software. Uh, somewhat five ten minutes what I was so if they can integrate the chat GPT it can be a tool where you can search in here itself and uh, then on the basis of the entry you can uh, analyze the accounts or let's say I provide the data with the from the accounting software is having all my financial data and with the chat GPT API I just go to analysis section of this. Uh, accounting software and just just click on analyze and click that uh, okay let's move to the uh, i mean i want the projection for the three more years so it will automatically pro analyze the last year's data and project the two or three years whatever we want so that can also be done benefits data get okay so privacy is a concern there is nothing 100 percent secure once you come online even chat GPT faced a bug wherein what happened was for the paid users, chat GPT plus users, 1% of the users were able to access the history of free version users. I mean, let, let's say person A is using free version and person B is that 1% among the paid users. I was able to access, okay, what you have searched. Now, just imagine if you have provided the personal data, financial or the sensitive data, what it, have, it might have caused. So it might have leaked the sensitive information. Okay, this person is doing this. Okay, uh, financial data or something. It can analyze the, uh, you know, uh, share, share markets on the basis of screener link and everything. You can also analyze also, but it will uh, straight away say, I'm not a registered person or a expert in this. You kindly uh, take on your own risk before investing. So everything is happening, but uh, they are providing you the disclaimers. Limitation biasness might come uh, as the Microsoft is owning everything. Chat GPT, Microsoft, uh, Windows, Microsoft, Microsoft. If you just click on what are the best com best software tools to be used for Office, the top search would be Microsoft. I tell what are the best shares to be invested. Now where the Microsoft has invested, that shares might come on the top. There are chances. So, uh, I mean, I would say there, are, there is a limitation also. There are advantages also. You have to, yeah, if you know how to uh, text a friend, then you know how to use a chat GPT. Obviously, if you, you will know how to refine yourself, how to use advanced level prompts, then thereafter you will, uh, Due to time constraints, I wasn't able to use those, uh, I mean, more and more prompts, but no issues. These are the other useful AI tools that you can use. Uh, GPTKit.ai is something which will provide you the, uh, uh, I mean, whether some data that is being copied is on of AI generated or not. Copilot will, will be coming by Microsoft, wherein in the Microsoft Word itself, you will type draft minutes of the meeting for first board meeting. In Microsoft itself, you will be getting that whole thing what we generated from chat GPT because Microsoft is also owned by chat GPT open A is owned by Microsoft. That is the reason these whole things will be integrated. So if you have Microsoft 365, it will be available to you on, on priority basis. Text plays, I, I already showed you, hugging phase is also a sub also a substitute of chat GPT. You can use that also. Compose AI is for content generation. U.com is also somewhat like chat GPT, Bing Chat, as we all see, we all know. So I would say Bing Chat, Bing Chat it can be used by everyone. And that uses GPT-4. So I mean it's up to you. If you want to use chat GPT-4, you can use it. Chat GPT on WhatsApp can be used. Like, uh, just a second, if, uh, let me tell you if it works. Yeah. So, um, what I'll do is, draft me a email to be sent to the clients for 
recorded data. So I just recorded this voice note and send it to this uh, WhatsApp or DGPT. What it is analyzing it. Now it will provide me the whole mail content or that can be sent by me. Now. See, I think uh, in next five. I think I have changed the language to English. Okay. Audit data key checklist. So you can use that GPT on WhatsApp also. You can search buddy GPT, you will be able to access. Now, other useful artificial intelligence tools are done. This is the job posting that was posted by what? Open AI. Kill switch engineer. Kill switch okay. engineer is a person. I'm just uh, interrupting. Can we just wrap it up? Yeah, yeah, just two minutes. Closing, sir. Yeah. This is the opening by Open AI, the company that generated chat GPT. And you just read the paycheck $3 lakh to $5 lakhs per year. And what you have to do is you have to sit beside the servers in case. The artificial intelligence goes against the human race. You have to unplug all the server uh, server rooms uh, switches, and you have to. I mean, if there is a requirement, you can also throw a bucket of water on the server. So this is the mindset of the open AI that they think they can reach to a level where they will go against the human race. So they are thinking of that also. Now, it's a simple thing. AI won't be replacing you. A person who will be using AI tools will replace you. So, now, thank you very much. Uh, with this, I close.